Hey Joe, it's folks here. What would you say is the most important part of a print-on-demand store? If you wanna get yourself in a position where you are generating a few hundred or a few thousand dollars a month in profit, there is obviously some things that you are going to have to do very well. Of course, you're gonna to have to build yourself a great looking store. You're going to have to choose a great niche, select profitable products. And obviously, you're going to have to have an awesome marketing strategy to actually make your sales. But there is one thing that will ultimately either make or break your chances of success. And this is one of the things that a lot of my private coaching students often ask when they begin thinking about opening a store. What I'm talking about is your actual print on demand designs that you are using on your store. In the video today, I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you to get started with your designs. We're going to take a look at 10 resources that you can use for making your your own designs or even hiring a designer. And if you stick around to the end of the video as a bonus, I will show you a place where you can get some epic free print on demand designs. I even had a student who during the Christmas season made over $5,000 selling some of these free designs. In the meantime as well, if you want to see some of the print on demand products that I recommend you to sell or some of the strategies that I'm currently using on my own stores, make sure to check out some of my other videos here on the channel. And if you want to go through some step by step step training, make sure to check out my course. There is a link down in the description inside. You'll get access to over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you the process to actually build out your print-on-demand store. And the best part is it is completely free. And like I said, there is a link down in the description. And before we go any further, I want you to answer one question for yourself very honestly. That question is, do you actually have the skill to make yourself your own print-on-demand designs? If you don't think that you can make designs like this on your own, you might wanna consider hiring a designer for help with your designs. The fact is, if your designs aren't great, then it's gonna to be tough for you to make sales. And in this video today, I'm also gonna show you some places where you can hire a designer. Here's how this is going to work. First, I'm going to show you some epic places where you can get some awesome design resources to ultimately use inside of your designs. Next, we'll take a look at some awesome free software that you can use to actually make designs. And then lastly, I will talk about where you can actually go to hire a professional designer. First up here is dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. This is what I think to be one of the largest resources of fonts online. At the top here, you can see all these different categories of fonts, so that way you can look for something that actually fits whatever it is you are trying to do. All of them are gonna have different licensing options as well, so make sure to take a look at those. But in general, this is a great place for you to go to to find some awesome fonts for your designs. A lot of times people underestimate the power of fonts. I wanna show you something really quickly back here on my bookshelf full of samples, but this design here is one that I often show as a reference. This design is using a font that obviously matches the niche very well. You can see that it looks like it is carved in stone. It also has uh, the shapes of the letters that really match the niche. And if you were just using a regular font on something like this, the design wouldn't be as cool. And our next resource that I wanna show you is perfect for anybody that is either going to be making their own designs and wants to find some awesome things that they can use in those designs, or someone who is going to be hiring a designer and wants to find some things that they can send to their designer to actually use in the design. What I'm talking about is creativefabrica.com. This is one of the largest resources for graphics that exists on the internet. One of the cool things is too, is they have a full POD license, which means you can use these files that you're downloading on your print-on-demand products. Obviously, make sure as you're downloading though to check the actual license for the file you are looking at. Inside, you'll get access to over 6 million graphics. They have over 100,000 fonts and basically, you'll be able to find a whole bunch of different things that you could use in your print-on-demand designs. Let's say that I was making a print-on-demand product for the hunting niche. I could come in here and just type in hunting in the search bar. I'm then going to see a whole bunch of graphics that show up that I could use and repurpose into my own print on demand designs. Something cool as well is that Creative Fabrica actually reached out to me recently and they put together this amazing offer uh, for my subscribers here. For just $1, you can get unlimited access to everything on the Creative Fabrica.
Creative Fabrica website. Basically, for your first month, it's going to be a dollar, and then after that, you're going to be billed only $19 a month, which is a 35% discount on their normal plan. I'll put a link to this page. You guys can check it out in the pinned comment of this video down below. Next up, we have an awesome website called thenounproject.com. They have icons for basically anything that you are looking for. If you're looking to make a logo or something like that, odds are Noun Project has you covered. Again, if I go up to the top here and I type in hunting, we will see what comes up relating to hunting. We can see icons in here with target reticules and birds and bows and arrows and weapons and a whole bunch of things that we could then repurpose into whatever it is we are doing. Just make sure when you're using this site that you take a look at the different licenses that are being applied to each individual icon because there are actual artists that are uploading these to noun projects. So just make sure to pay attention to those when you are searching for one that you want to use. Next up is something that a lot of people don't actually think of when it comes to finding resources to use in their designs. What I'm talking about is Etsy. If you come on Etsy and you type in hunting SVG, for example, you will find a whole bunch of SVG downloads that you can purchase that relate to the hunting niche. Now, again, if you're not selling in the hunting niche, obviously you would type something else in, but what this is going to do is it will get you access to bundles like this, and they're pretty cost-effective as well. Something like this only costs $3. Obviously, make sure to check the licensing for each bundle that you're looking at to make sure that they can actually be used commercially. Are you getting something out of this? Hopefully you are. If you are, make sure to drop a like on the video. Not only does that make YouTube show you more content, content like this, but it also helps the video to do better and to be shown to more people. Honestly, these videos take a little while to put together and I want everybody to see them. So drop a like on it if you're getting value out of what I'm showing you. So now that we've taken a look at some resources to actually use in your designs, we're gonna take a look at some software now. First, what I wanna show you is a software called Canva. You can get a free account on canva.com. They are going to allow you to create a whole bunch of different things from a whole bunch of free templates that they have. So if you're looking to create just some graphics for your site, they're gonna have you covered there. But if you're also trying to get into making some designs for print-on-demand products, they're gonna have some templates for that as well. Like I said, this is Canva uh, and you can create a free account. Next up is an awesome software that is also completely free. It's called Photopia or photop.com or however you want to pronounce it. Basically, this is a free browser-based version of Adobe Photoshop. So depending on your level of expertise and how much experience you have making designs, this could be a great option for you. Obviously, if you're a beginner, something like this might be a little bit difficult to use because there are just so many tools for you here. And again, Again, this is a free software, it's called Photopia or Photop, however you want to pronounce it. Next, we have another free graphic design software. This one is called GIMP. And again, you can download this, you can use it for free. It's at GIMP.org. Uh, it's a really cool option. It's one that I've honestly never used before, but I have seen a lot of people use it, uh, and it is one that a lot of people really like. So check it out, it is called GIMP, G-I-M-P. So now we come to the part in the video where I'm going to show you some places where you can actually hire a designer to make your designs. Now, this is a great option for people that don't have any experience with graphic design. I am begging you, if you are starting a print-on-demand store and you don't have experience with graphic design, I am begging you to consider hiring a designer because there is going to be such a large learning curve for you to actually create your own design. So, what I have for you is three uh, separate ways where you can go about hiring a print-on-demand designer. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you wanna go through some step-by-step -step training from me, there is my course linked in the description of this video. It is completely free, and one of the videos inside of the free course is going to talk through with you how to actually go about hiring a designer. What I wanna show you in these three videos is places you can go, and like I said, check out the course to see how to actually go about doing this. Our first, place where you can go is fiverr.com. 
Com. Obviously, come on here, type in print on demand designer and search, and you will see a bunch of people that are posting different jobs uh, for you to go through and potentially hire them. Now, obviously, when you are looking at a place like Fiverr, you want to be careful. There are lots of people out there that talk about uh, getting scammed on Fiverr or getting a design that the designer didn't really make, uh, meaning they found it on Google somewhere and then gave it to you and charged you for it or something like like that. So it is extremely important that as you're scrolling through these different listings here that you look for someone that someone that has a lot of reviews, right? So like this guy here, Happy Code, he has a top rated seller badge. He has 205 five star reviews. Something like that would give me a lot more confidence than something like this here that only has six uh, or you know some of the other ones that only have a few reviews. You want to make sure that whoever it is you're using has a decent amount of reviews. You can even look through some of their past reviews as well to sort of see if they have been successful at doing the sort of thing that you are looking to have done. Our second option is Upwork.com. Now, similarly to Fiverr.com, you're going to you know do your search. I typed in print on demand designer. I, then you can scroll through and begin seeing you know people that have done things that are similar to what it is you're looking to have done. Upwork is a place where I have hired a lot of people to do various tasks for me, uh, and it's a place where you could definitely find a great uh, print on demand design. Our third option is, this is not a pitch, I'm just sharing this with you. Designedbyninjas.com is a design agency that I, along with a few others, put together a few years ago. And basically, it's a way where you can get yourself a designer to make uh, your own uh, designs on your site. Check them out, designedbyninjas.com. So at the beginning of the video, I said if you stuck around this far, I would show you a place where you can get some free print-on-demand designs. Inside of the Subliminator print-on-demand app, they have an entire catalog of free print-on-demand designs. It says, choose from hundreds of high-quality designs spread over various niches that are made by our in-house team of designers. They have some exceptional designs inside of their free catalog. So if you want some free designs, check out the Subliminator print-on-demand company. There are an app that I have shown here several times here on the channel and it is one that I have used a lot in the past. So check them out. Either way though, hopefully you got something out of this video, taking a look at 10 resources that you can use to make print on demand designs. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Is there any one of these resources that is new to you or one that you might have used in the past? Let me know down in the comments and as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.